Sample question number 18 here is, this is the question number 18. A laser pointer produces a green light with a wavelength of 532 nanometer. What is the energy of a single photon in electron volt produced by the pointer? Round your answer to the nearest hundreds. So basically they're asking us the energy of a single photon. So energy of a photon can be represented in two ways. This question is basically related with the quantum physics. So in this energy of the photon, we can write it as E is equals to H into F. So where H is the Planck's constant. So H is basically the Planck's constant. Planck's constant. And F will be the frequency. So F will be the frequency of light. But actually what you are seeing here, they have given us the wavelength. So wavelength means they have given us the value of the lambda. So I can't use this equation directly. So energy can also be written in the another way. So E is equals to h c by lambda so here what is the c c is the speed of light speed of light in air or in free space we say and the lambda is the wavelength so now we know the wavelength we know the wavelength so we have to make use of this rule so Let's take what are the values of H, what are the values of C and what is the value of wavelength and all according to this, we know that the wavelength is 532 nanometers. So wavelength we write it as five, sorry, the, this will be written as 532, 532 into 10 to the power negative nine meter because the nano means 10 to the power negative nine. So all unit conversion will be given to you and the constants values are also given to you. So let me just write the constants value here. A value of H, as I said, the formulas are given to you. So this all values will be mentioned over there. Value of H is gonna be 6.626 into 10 to the power negative 34. And the, what is the value of C? That's the speed of light. We know speed of light is three into 10 to the power eight meter per second. So these are the values given to us. I just need to substitute and I have to solve this. Now let's solve for the energy according to this. E is equals to, as we know, E is equals to H C by lambda represents uh, H value is 6.6. Uh, 6 to 6 into 10 to the power of negative 34 times speed of the light value of C here is going to be 3 into 10 to the power 8. So divided by what we're going to get the wavelength wavelength is going to be 532 into 10 to the power negative 9. So if you substitute this as it is values in the calculator, what are you going to get here? You're going to get the value here as 3.5. 736 into 10 to the power negative 19 but the energy what we got it is in terms of joule the question asking us to find the energy in terms of electron volt so why they are saying us because uh, energy of an electron that is the energy of a photon is very small that's why rather than measuring in terms of joule they measure it in electron volt so look at 3.3 seven three six ten to the power negative 19 joule it's very small you need to represent joule so we can represent in the another unit called electron old so how do we convert the energy in terms of electron old so just simply what we know that the one electron volt is equals to 1.6 into 10 to the power negative 19 that is the value of electron multiplied by one volt so this is basically the one electron old but now how do I convert this energy in terms of electron volt? So this 3.736 into 10 to the power negative 19 joules, you have to convert into electron volt. So I can just simply say the energy, energy in terms of electron volt, you can write it as the joule, whatever the value you got, 3.736 into 10 to the power negative 19, divide by the value of the electron. I can say elect in electron volt or per electron we also we can say. So that is gonna divide by 1.6 into 10 to the power negative 19. So if you divide this 1.6 into 10 to the power negative 19, what are you gonna get this result as? You'll be getting it as 2.335 
electron volt but question says us round your answer to nearest hundreds so look at the digit after the 3 this is the hundreds place right the digit after 3 is 5 so i can round it to the 2.34 electron volt the answer to this question is going to be 2.34 electron volt so this is how we calculate 